Hello, this is Colin. If I'm looking a little tired, a little weary, a little tattered, a little torn, it's because I have reached the end of my David's Tea Challenge. Yes, this is the last of the David Teas that I am going to sample, uh, 10 in total. And uh, well, it's one I've been pushing back and back because it contains things that are well, injurious to me, shall we say. For this is organic cinnamon chai rooibos. Now, I don't really care for rooibos. It's not a tea. It's a South African plant that has tea-like qualities. I've had it before. I don't hate it. I don't think of it as tea, though. Um, but, you know, it has its adherence. So, yes, there's rooibos. And what else we got in here? Uh, cinnamon. And apple. And natural cinnamon flavoring. Now, I don't really understand why they include cinnamon and natural cinnamon flavoring, which seems kind of odd to me. I mean, I'm always suspicious of natural flavoring because that often means sugar. Anyway, so, and I don't like... I don't like spices in my tea, I'm sorry to say. Chai has never really appealed to me. Um, I mean, I've, I've challenged myself with all kinds of strange things in my tea, like chocolate and licorice, but spices, never really cared for it. Yes, Lomo. Cat, can you hear her? She's yowling. Anyway, um, so here we are with the uh, organic, you know, you know And it's basically apple pie. It's apple pie tea. I don't know how they got it this sweet. I mean, I can't imagine they did it with cinnamon alone. But you can taste the cinnamon strongly. You can taste the apple. Um, I don't know about the rooibos. It must be in there somewhere. But like so often with uh, David's teas, it seems like the tea itself is secondary to all the stuff they pile into it. So, yeah, I mean, that's truth and honesty, folks. This is, this is apple pie tea. Um, actually, I have had, um, on a whim, I did buy, uh, was it Grandmother's Apple Pie Tea from, I believe it was Granville Island Teas. And, yeah, it tastes like this. It's apple pie tea. Now, it's not that I don't like apple pie. It's just I'm not sure I want it in my tea. So, yeah. Once again, a tea which has been heavily spiced or possibly sugared, although the ingredients list might not suggest that, uh, to make it more attractive to people who don't actually drink tea. I mean, uh, it's not horrible. I won't spit it out, but it's not what I'm looking for in a tea. Oh, like a, oh it's a hot apple cider. Really, if you like hot apple cider, you might enjoy this. Might make a nice, um, a sweet uh, iced tea in the summer. Come to think of it, you know, when I generally have my in the summer when I have my iced tea, that's generally when I practice my sweet tooth a bit more. But yes, so um, we've come to the end of the David's Tea Challenge, and I will next time. I will give a review, a summation of the various teas, and give you my opinion of the uh, tea set as a whole. But uh, for now, cheers.